Yo, what the deal? Peace to the gods, peace to the earth. Peace to all the righteous families of the planet Earth. This your man, King Lou is Allah. Coming on this uh, wisdom power. Well, excuse me, wisdom build destroy day. That adds up to knowledge cipher. But two ways is wisdom build and or destroy, right? And so, you know, I'll let y'all take it from there. Um, I'm, you know, this a, you know, this a two part, uh, two topic video, it's gonna be brief. I'm, I'm talking about Ice Cube and uh, Mama's Boys, right? Now, you know, they, man, you know, you know, you know they're telling us to vote. And Michelle Obama, you know, if if you a viewer of YouTube or, or a subscriber of any YouTube channels, you know, and, and you know, you get ads, you know, you, you know, you, you know, y'all been seeing a lot of uh, campaign ads for Biden and or Trump. Right. And so the, the Obamas are campaigning for Biden and the, the latest. Um. <clears throat> latest campaign ad was Michelle talking about statistics and, and, and how and how important it is for us to go out and vote and the slim margin of which the winner wins by. You, you know, she say in the in the in the in the most important states, she said Donald Trump won by two percent. Either two percent or two votes, and you know she say that's a very small margin, so we need to get out and vote. You know, you know it is what it is, right? Nah, you know, you know I got a beef with Ice Cube, but this ain't the time to go at him, right? You know. Um, Ice trying to grow, you know. I don't think he like to like to be called Ice Coon. You know, that's what I called him before he, you know, that's what I was calling him before he took off and, you know, tried to, you know, drink some coffee and, you know, wake wake himself up and wake everybody else up. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna go at him. You know, I got some more heat for him. You know, if he come through, to, you know he, you know he came through and talked about the D. You know, well, you know, you know, he talked about the D and he talked about my neighborhood, right? And I didn't. It's, it's, you know, he ought to be bigger and better than that. And he talking about, you know, my mind. You know, the uh, uh, perfect places in my mind, and I don't live in reality, right? I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I work in the real world. Not in the pretend world where, you know, people pretend to be what they not. You know, people pretend to be police and, and action superheroes. You know, I live in the real world, work in the real world. And so, you know, but I but but I, but I, but I'm not finna go at Ice Cube. You know, I think, you know, you know, people need to listen to Ice Cube. Um you, you know, I think that, you know, he's all right. You know, I was, I was thinking, I, you know, I've been thinking, thinking along the lines of, you know, organizing and unifying black people to make our vote mean something. And, 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 and so if I understand you know, what his movement is about, you know, he's saying the government needs to have a black contract with people, right? With have a have a contract with black people. And and it should and the and the contract should um should should list all of our needs, concerns and issues. And, 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 and that once they are in office, they will address 
and fix these issues. Um, so, and so where I'm going is, you know, a Michelle Obama say, you know, the winner usually wins by a small margin. If Joe Biden really wants to be the president, then the black, black Americans, African Americans, Americans, black Americans should have, should, should, should unify. That means come together and before Joe Biden talks to us, we should have we should have compiled a list of demands meaning reparations uh better police uh, uh service uh laws in place to that protect black americans you know before we sit down with joe biden we need to sit down with each other. And 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 see this how our vote don't mean nothing. You know, because you know, y'all put y'all put faith in somebody without talking to them. Right? So so now they saying Ice Cube sold out because he talked to Trump. I don't I don't know if Ice Cube met with Trump or not. You know, some people say that's a that was a um that was some kind of ploy or something. But if he did talk to Trump, you know, I heard he told Trump the same thing he told Joe Biden. Right? That you know, y'all need to address black people issues if you want our vote. And it need to be in writing that whoever is the president, they, they, they uh, agree to address these issues that we have laid out and laid forth in this contract. But for some reason, black people can't do it. And and part of part of the problem, I think, is fear. You know, you know, I think y'all, you know, I think we scared to come together. You know, I think black people scared to nominate a a, a a a a black leader you know you know i think i think it's fear i think it's fear and ignorance which keeps black people divided see united we stand divided we fall you see so you know y'all so you know we divided right now on on you know you know we if if our vote mean that much you know in, in this day and age, why we can't get something for our vote. They owe us. You know? So, you know, I think black people need to wake up. Man, Ice Cube tried. You know, Ice Cube paid. He don't need reparations. You know, he don't need a higher, higher wage. He don't need a higher minimum wage. You know, he don't need universal health care. You know, he paid. But, you know, he took it upon himself to use his platform to try to wake people up and, and bring awareness to this, to these social, social inequalities. See what I'm saying? They social inequalities, socioeconomic ills, so, socioeconomic disparities, right? So... You know, man, ah, man, you know. So, you know, and that, so I'm not, I, so, you know, I'm gonna stall him out. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I could have, you know, banged on him a little bit more, right? But, you know, I'm gonna give him a pass to the um, election is over. But, you know, we need to listen and unify and organize to make our vote really mean something. I mean, you know, they see when it's time to vote, you know, we're part of this country. See, see when it's time to vote, black lives matter. You know, Malcolm X will call y'all political chumps for, you know, let somebody come pep, you know, pep, pep, pep rally you up 
and then take your vote and done and then when they get in office don't give a fuck about you right so you know man it's man yeah you know, and so i've been thinking about I, I really don't want joe biden in office and it, and it ain't nothing personal i mean it's, it's personal because you know they you know they played the black card so much it ain't even funny you know how what kind of motherfucker say if y'all ain't black if y'all don't vote for me, y'all ain't black. What kind of shit is that? This my and talking about them kids. You know what I'm saying? Talking about and, and you know in a you know in a nutshell, he was saying black babies, black children, black people are inferior to white privileged people. That's what he was saying. And so you know. He always playing the race car. So so now so now he got Kamala. And and so you know that you know you know that's another race card issue. Right? You know Obama played the race card when he when he selected the white man. Right? You know, to be his vice president. That's to you know, you know to create balance. You know a a perception that of of balance and 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 uh and and universal see what i'm saying but all the while it's been two white men you know two two white men for president and vice president so instead of obama picking a black person or a, a black man or a black woman he picked a white man joe biden to be his vp for the, for for the perception of balance because because they would think it would be yes too much to have two black men as like he could have picked Cory Booker he he could have picked Kamala he could have asked Colin Powell Condoleezza Rice all them people to be VP right but you know and, and so he took a chance with Joe Biden on the ticket right cuz Joe Biden was was an unknown you know been doing passing these racist uh mass incarceration laws with bill clinton you see what i'm saying so man i just, i don't you know man it's better go with the with the so-called devil we know you know what i'm saying i think let donald finish his motherfucking time up in that motherfucker and put joe biden up in that motherfucker that motherfucker you know when left to his own mind to his own knowledge you know he races if y'all ain't y'all ain't black y'all ain't voting for me see you know he trying to remind you that he was vice president under obama and that and you know that's all that we don't need no remindment you see so you know man that that you know that you know you know i, you know, I think that dude kind of fucked up so now I'm gonna talk about uh, t talk about Mama's Boys real quick. It, you know, this been popping in my head, man, about Mama's Boys, man. And you know, I think somebody wanted me to go over, you know, re you know, explain myself further. Um, I don't get along with grown men. Grown is shit. Grown is 21, right? If, if you know, if you 18, you still live with your mama, that's fine because you still a teen. You understand? But when you 21, you know, and and your mama still cooking for you and washing your clothes and paying and you know, letting you live off her, you know, you not a grown man, you a mama's boy. And so when you 40 or 50 or 60 and 30, and you live with your mother and you can't provide for yourself the basic necessities that a man based on societal that's the standards of society should have at 30 40 and 50 should be getting is is his own food his own clothes his own shelter his own transportation so if you 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 and can't provide the basic essential needs that 
someone that calls himself a man has. And, and you live in off and with your mother. You are a mama's boy. You are not a mama's man. You are a mama's boy. You know, that's, and, and so, and, and, and so now you got, and so, and so it's, so it's two categories of mama's boys. You got mama's boys that still live off they mother because, you know, they mother allow it. You know, she don't know no correction. You know, she don't know how to communicate to her 30, 40, 50, 60 year old son. So she allow the lies and nonsense and bullshit, the use of her car and her house as still his, you see, and, and he pay no bills. And so, and so, so, uh, so another category of mama's boys is men that, that can provide for themselves. They have moved away. They got their own house, their own car, but they still place their mother first. You see what I'm saying? And, and in both categories of mama's boys, the men that are mama's boys aren't stand-up men, meaning they cannot take responsibility for their own actions, for their own decisions, for their own self. You know, they constantly, when, when, when in trouble at 30 and 40 and 50, they're constantly pointing the finger at someone else on why they are where they are, stuck with their mama. It's somebody else's fault and not their mama fault and it ain't their fault. That's a mama's boy. Not a man, but a mama's boy. A, 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 a male of age that cannot take responsibility for his own self, for his own actions, for him not having. See, for him, for his own self not having, it's somebody else's fault. That's not a man, that's a boy. Especially when you look to your mama, turn to your mama, see mama, he said, I, and, that, and, and that male is 40 and 50 and going on 60 years old and still living off and with their mama. You see? So, you know, man, that's, once again, that's that's terrible upbringing, man, you know. That's, that's you know, that's, that's terrible upbringing, man, that, you know, that that the mother never felt sure enough to to push her son out that she done a good enough job with her son understand you know he was home trained you know he he was corrected you know he know right from wrong he know how to treat people he know how to conduct himself he know how to talk to people you know she don't feel confident in in her up and in, in her rearing of him to push him out into the real world you see my mama had no problem saying you know you know you better go see if the ymca got some rooms you know she you know she ain't never had no problem telling me that you know she never had you know telling me no problem you know the homeless shelter they got beds you know, you know, she never had no problem telling me what you gonna do, Lou. What you gonna do? You know, and like I said, I'm not mad at my mother for none of that. The pen people, and the sad thing about this, people think I got a problem with my mother because I ain't living off her. You know, man, since I put that other video, it's I didn't learn some things, some things didn't come out about about the people thought, man, it's just, wow, man, man, Jesus. And it turns out they jealous of me and my mother, you know? And I, and man, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, man. People just see the outside and, you know, don't know what's going on on the inside, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy, man. And they, man, man, but I, I don't, I ain't never people, man. Like my mother ain't, People thought, man, Jesus, people thought I was jealous of my mother in 94 
when she got her explorer. Right? I came. You know, I, you know, she got to explore. And they thought I, so first I heard people thought it was mine. Like my mother bought it for me. And people was jealous of that. Then they found, so then, so then they thought I got mad at my mother when I couldn't drive it. <laughs> like she took it from me. And so I told somebody to get her. Because I'm jealous and want the car. I ain't never in my life been jealous of my mother. Never of my father, about a mother, and 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 I will take a lot of tech tests. I ain't never been jealous about their cars. <laughs> I ain't never been jealous about their cars or where they live or who they with. Never. And it's wow, it's it's wow. I mean, that was a blow. Somebody hit me with their dumbness. Like this, what you've been thinking? That my mama took my car and driving it, and I can't so, or. She won't let me drive the car and I'm jealous of my mother. Man, I take, you know, I used to take, I used to get tired of the Explorer. Take it back, park it. Fuck that shit. I ain't going nowhere with it. I ain't doing nothing with it. It's a car and I, and I wouldn't even like it. I, I, you know, I like the Chevy. You know what I'm saying? When, when the Chevy big box come out, I like the Chevy. My cousin Kevin, retired state trooper, had to had a had a first year blazer, you know the the square kind, right? And so you know, you know I've been familiar with Chevy Chevy trucks and blazers before they hit the hood. You know what I'm saying? And so you know, man, I ain't never been on my mama car, never ever. I I don't even I'm so tired of Ford products. It ain't funny. You know, you know, I, you know, I think I told somebody, I think I said this already, but I used to pray that I wouldn't have to buy no Ford. I'm so tired of Ford products. I grew up, everybody in my family had Ford products. Ford and Chrysler products. You know, it's, it's, it's people so dumb out here, you know, they think that if your people work at, you know, one of the three big factories that you got to buy where they work, you can buy any car you want. It's... It's not freedom when you can't buy what you want. So, you know, I believe in freedom and, you know, don't they don't pay me. Don't nobody pay me. And I take spend my money where I want, how I want, when I want, well, who I want. But, but yeah, man. So, you know, man, it was like, you know, mama's boys, man, you know, that you know, live on their own, but it's grown men on their own, but they still can't make, can't stand up for themselves, can't can't speak for themselves, don't have the confidence, don't understand manhood, right? When you constantly lying, deceiving people and, and pointing the finger at people when you fucked up on camera and you still refuse to admit that you wrong. That's a, and 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 your mama raised you. You know, you was a mama's boy. You know, like ain't no. In some cases, niggas, men lie, and ain't no harm gonna come to them. Ain't no trouble. But they just ain't standard. They ain't been taught. They ain't been corrected. Right? You know what I'm saying? Co you know, you know, corrective behavior. They ain't been corrected. Like, you know, you know, I, you know, I, you know I, I, I used to work in the transportation industry in trucking, right? You know, but it's big company that went out of business recently, you know. And, um, you know, if you get a ticket, get in the, get in the, if you tear a mud flap off, if you scrape a trailer, you know, it, if you do anything that, you know, you get cited a warning for or, you know, speeding, you know, if anything, you know, they will bring it to the office and do what they call corrective behavior. You know, corrective and what is it, pre-corrective. And, and so they, you know, so you got to watch vid, dr driving videos all over again. You got to. Then got to take a road test all, 
all over again where they show you like you know point out your weaknesses in operating a big truck like you not checking your mirrors enough you didn't see that person walking you didn't slow down coming to the yellow light you know what i'm saying so 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 one little incident you know they bring in for corrective behavior these so so, so these mama's boys which is grown men they ain't never been corrected because you know it's a you know it's a grown man grown men that have temper tantrums when their mother tell them no you know like i, I you know I, I know somebody now i think going through they going on 60 going on 50 and their mother tell them no and they have temper tantrums they lie to their mother every day about their situation and it's like, you know, you ain't been told to tell the truth. I couldn't run that bullshit on my mama. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that. But it's like, man, these dudes so twisted. You know, being that old and still, you know, being on their mama tit. You know what I'm saying? You know, still attached to that umbilical cord. You know what I'm saying? I don't, and I don't get along with mama's boys, man. I Because I, they just, you know, they lie for, out there for no reason. They just be lying. You know, and they had no problem living a lie over the truth. They prefer deception over truth. Don't know what honesty is. I'm like, look, man, I'm being real honest with you. They don't believe because they lie so much. Mama's boy. I find out in all niggas, all men, that's mama's boys. They, they don't know how to be straight up. They don't know how to be straight up. Real, real talk. Straight up, like this, how it is. I can't do it. I can't. I, you know, I can do half of that. I can, I can, you know, I can do. I, you know, I can give you two hours or something. You know, I, you know, I, I can't take you all the way. I can take you there. I got to get back. You know what I'm saying? It, they just don't know how to be straight up, man. They just lie, and that's. And I, I think that's a lot of bitch in them. You know, when you know, when you're dealing with other men, and you can't be straight up. So, you know, man, and so I find this with men that's mama that live off still and with their mama. Man, or, or that was raised by their mama. And, you know, you know, just, man, just, man, they ain't straight up, man. They don't know how to deal with men. See what I'm saying? Other men that ain't mama's boys, that's just, just being straight up with you. You know, they think it's some kind of game and they... You know, they turn into a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Start closing their legs like they finna get fucked or something. I don't want to fuck you, dude. You a dude. So, you know, man, that's, that's you know, that's all I was saying, man. You know. Something. You know, I think somebody get at me by mama's boys, man. They just, ugh, they like timid and shit. You know what I'm saying? They be big motherfuckers and be all bitchy. Like, wow. And, you know, and so growth and development psychology, you know, behavioral analysts lead me to this conclusion, right? That Men that still off living on living with off their mama be like bitch made motherfuckers. For real. Man, it's it's like, ugh. And and they think some bitch ain't nothing wrong with me. What the fuck you nigga? You 40, 50 years, 60 years old, live with your mama. Ain't got a car, money, clothes, nothing. What is something wrong with me? Jealous bitch. Jealous bitch motherfucking niggas, man. So you know, man, ugh, I can't I can't fuck with niggas like that. For real. You gotta be, I am a man raised by two grandfathers, an uncle, and a father. You understand? Raised by two grandfathers, some the darkest skinned men, grandfathers, an uncle, and a father. You understand? I am a man. You understand? Yes, I was raised to be a man. You know, my my grandmother used to call me little man. Little, I was a man. You know, I you know, so I was I was raised to be a man, not no bitch. You know, if if I started like a bitch, my grandmother would check me. You understand? 
my grand, no, no, you don't act that. No, we don't act that way. We, you know, we act this way. You know what I'm saying? You know, she gave me, I, I was exercising power and she tried to refine me because I had a temper. You understand? So, you know, man. No, man, news need to understand, man, what we you know, what a man is. I, I, I told motherfuckers they, and you know, these are the same motherfuckers that swept me down, they the man. You ain't even a man. You gotta learn to be what a man is. A man is about his word. You know, before my word shall fail, you know, you know, I, I should give my life before my word shall fail. These niggas ain't even about their word. They word ain't good. They word not bond. You understand? They word not bond. My word is bond. What I say I do, I do it. If I can't do it, I say I can't do it. It's just that simple. Motherfucker try to be the man and like you can't do it. You didn't stood somebody up, left somebody hanging. You ain't a you ain't the the man don't the man show up, pull up and blow up. You ain't the man. The man show up, pull up and blow up. So, you know, you can't even keep your word. How you the man when you can't keep your word and you lie about everything and everybody? I ain't here to play with you, bitch. Bitch made man. Bitch man. I, I had to call some man because he was acting like a bitch. Some grown old ass grandfather. I had to call this man. I said, you was a man, bitch. You know, you was a bitch man. You was a man, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, man. Our man, dudes need to man the fuck up. You understand? You you know, we got to, you scared to come together, organize, and unite. And and, and whoever in present, in office, make the motherfucker do right. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so now they talking about how, I don't know if it was fake news or not, but I think it, I think it may have been fake news. California talking about they going to get reparations for the state of California. Reparations that I didn't look up the word, but the key word or the root word in reparations is repair, right? Repair is to correct, right? It's to correct something. So, you know, reparations in the form of money is what we need. See, reparations correct slavery, the years of slavery, which, which, which make the rest of the ethnic groups think that black people are inferior because they think we allowed ourselves to be slaves. So, you know, they fucked up that we can overcome that shit, sit down at the table and say, we want some money. You understand? We want some money. So, you know, So, you know, man, that's you know, that's all I'm saying. Man, y'all need to stop being be men. You know, go 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 read some books on manhood. You know, ask some men that ain't mama's boys. That's straight up stand up men. Mama don't come first. You come first. Your wife come first. Your children come first. Mama don't come first. You understand when when you a certain age, mama come first. And if and if you can't take care of mama, that cause she ain't put you in a position to 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 so you can help take care of mama. That ain't on you. You understand? LeBron is in a position to take care of his mama like he do when they fight and fall out, but he in a position to take care of because she supported him, right? In 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 high school. They told her. In the 12th grade, the coach say, Glow, LeBron gonna need a lawyer. 
in 12th grade. He gonna need a lawyer. She said, bet, and went and got a lawyer. LeBron mama toured at all them away games when they was taking flights out to, out the state. You know what I'm saying? She got a lawyer, kept that nigga out of trouble. Told the, told the agent, we not gonna need no trouble incidental insurance because I didn't raise this nigga right. You understand? Now he got, he, you know, he had like a bitch sometime, you know what I'm saying? But he can't help it that daddy wasn't around, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he, you know, he can take care of his mama with, with no problem because she took care of him, you understand? So, but, you know, you know, man, you know. No, man, y'all got to stop being mama's boys, man. Stop being, mama don't come first over the wife and, and your babies. See what I'm saying? Your wife come first, not your mama. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not saying don't help mama if mama needs some help. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying don't back mama. But, you know, man, I mean, shit, my mama... You know, me, my, me, my mama's situation fucked up. My mama, and I guess it's her attempt. I mean, you know, people, you know, she, you know, I get kind of mad because people don't think I, I don't know what jealousy is, right? I don't know what jealousy is. I don't know what hate is, right? And and my mama, you know, she set out and like you know, wanted to compete with me when I got into college. And I, I guess that's to motivate me or whatever. But how, I, so I used to say back in, how you going to compete with your child? You've been running 30. You got 30 years ahead of me. How you want to race me? Right? So when they, come on, Lou, get in the race. Okay, I understand that. But my mama parents pay for her college and her master's. You understand? Back some of her business, help her buy a house. Bought, help her buy her cars. Bought her cars. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody done that for me. So how you going, you know what I'm saying, call yourself inspiring me to get somewhere, but you compete with me, and then you hating on me. So I can't say, you know, that I can get somewhere, then turn around and look out for mama, because it ain't been like that. You know, both my parents raised me to be independent. A them, you understand? So I don't, man. It's you know I don't even know what kind of relationship that is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know, you know, you know. I told somebody I like the song "Dear Mama." You know, that's a hell of a song, my boys I and mean, me. Hell of a song. But I don't, I don't feel that way. You know, I like the song "Charlene," and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't pick that bitch up on the street. She was getting jumped on. You know what I'm saying? But that's a hell of a song. Y'all know what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm saying, man. Y'all, men got to wait. Stop being mama's boys. We need to organize with men, black men and women. And, and you know, we could have, we, you know, we had a power to pick up. We got to take our power and refine it enough to get these candidates in front of us to see if they're going to answer and address, repair and or fix our issues. So all I'm saying, man, you know, you know, forgive me if y'all think I'm ranting on y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out, peace.